So let's move for the Jenkins configuration after our Jenkins installation on our Linux system. So uh, we, uh, our service is has uh, installed properly and now it's running uh, and it's running state. So using the systemctl status Jenkins command we can see the service status. So now we are moving to the UI where we will access our Jenkins uh, from the UI. So I'm just opening our UI and here uh, with the port number 8080 it will allow to access the Jenkins UI. So when you are first time you are accessing it will uh, uh, need a admin password and that password will be created automatically by Jenkins once it's installed in your system. So how do we get that password that's uh, helps given over this screen uh, you can see this unlock Jenkins and here you can find that to ensure Jenkins equally set up administrator password has been written in the log file so this log file is uh, located over this path and we have to get that uh, password and copy paste over here so let's uh, move to this uh, path so I'm just copy pasting this path completely Okay, so in this file, there is a, uh, one of the uh, random string is written over. This is the uh, Jenkins path. So I'm just copying this path again and uh, just pasting over here to continue our Jenkins access. So just moving forward to click on continue. So when this first time authentication gets confirmed, it will allow for the next configuration page where it will ask for the plugin installation. So there is a two option. One is the install suggested public plugin and the selected plugin install. So suggested plugin will be take automatically, but let's have a understand what select plugin plugin options over here. So I'm clicking over here select plugin options. Okay, so when you move for the select plugin, that's it by choice option that uh, basically you have to choose whatever your required plugins while uh, Jenkins installation. So here some of the plugins are automatically click over here. That's a uh, by default suggested that you can this is the suggested that's required. Uh, you can also configure whatever you are explicitly required. You can just click over here for the installation. So this is this folder. This is OWASP markup for parameter build timeout credential building so these are the quite important plugins that's by default Jenkins uh, plug here so this aunt and gradle is also build tools which are the importance so they are the bifurcation you can find this is the build features that's a features related building and this is a build tool where the what tool is required you can use the node.js so here we are also clicking the node.js you can click here node.js whatever required you can configure over here so in build analysis reporting you can take this html publisher j unit uh, as per your requirement you can configure pipeline is a quite important here so pipeline is one of the biggest plugin are more uh, useful in the jenkins uh, then you can see the github uh, branch source pipeline github groovy library so these are the uh, connectivity between the pipeline and continuous delivery in next move, you can move the source cost management into source cost management. You can use the git, github parameter, gitlab or for your source cost management. Moving next, that's a distributed the builds. That's you can use the SSL slaves for the remote connection and in user management and security you can use this matrix authorization, PMA, LDAP. Uh, notification having the email extension that is used for the sending email once your build get pass or fail mailer also useful so these are the different plugins which use for your based on configuration and based on your requirement we are going back here to choose the install suggested plugin so by default the jenkins suggested plugin will be we will continue with the installation over here so this is our initial configuration for the suggested plugin so it will start once you click here it will start the installing this plugin you can see here's the folder OAPS. this all information you will find here so these are plugins which are by default click in the suggested site so we will wait till this all plugins get installed so all our plugin got installed and it's moved for our admin user creation. So we can create here the admin user. Let's me create my admin user here. Just passing the admin username password uh, for admin uh, user. And I'm giving the, uh, that's my custom email ID. You can pass your own email ID. So I'm just clicking the save and continue over here. 
so it will redirect to the our instance configuration over here so this is our basic configuration over uh, so in this http url your jenkins will be accessible so this is only we are using over here and now we can click here it's a save and finish so this is our jenkins installation has been here done and you are your jenkins is ready to work so in next session we will understand the next uh, jenkins dashboard and how to getting start with jenkins with uh, jenkins ui